scout team instructs and shows the breach team a breach location. So they've been sitting there, the recon has been <coughs> sitting there, hopefully, they've been doing a good job. They've been mapping out your holes, mapping out the enemy's position, showing you where the wire is located. If there's any any mines, any wire, anything like that. Alright. They're there. They're going to tell the, the breach team where to go. Alright, say, so, alright. Lots of wire, lots of wire. Good, well defended positions here. Alright. Normally in the front of the class, I mean in front of your defense, you're not going to have your most vulnerable position, correct? Alright, but I'm showing you on the board so it's easier to understand the attack. Here we go. Nobody's going to set up their damn defense with a big gaping hole in the middle. Alright. Alright, so that's just for the, the class. Alright. So, recon teams come up. So your PL and all come up. Get up with your, your, fire, your support bus fire leaders, your phase attack leaders, your tech, and your breach teams. Come up here, meet up with your recon. All right, sir, here's where you're at. Showing you all the locations that we can. This is the best place for us to get through. All right, the best place for us to make a gap. All right, good to go. At that time, again, you're gonna pull your support by fire, hopefully in a good elevated position that can rain down some hate and discontent on the enemy, keeping their heads down. All right, same attack team moves over. All right, guys, so you're gonna exploit this gap. I'm not gonna have my faint attack team right in the front with them, right? Nope. With them, get them <clears throat> off. All right, so we'll put them over here by the support by fire so that when they do open up, the enemy's like, oh shit, here comes everybody. All right, they're coming from this side. This is where they're coming. Now, to make this faint attack work properly, all right, you just don't wanna go out there out in the open, right? You wanna use concealment. You wanna use some smoke. If you have it, all right, you're going to pop that smoke so that the enemy is confused, all right, you want to make sure your breach team has it also, all right, that's why the, the PL and all, they have to have a good plan to when to shift that fire and when to stop that faint attack so that you make sure that there's not a chance that you have some blue on blue cavity, all right, so it's got to be good coordination. So they pop their smoke. Excuse me, backtrack. So, time, they could done it by time. They could say, hey, you're gonna get in position, and at such such time, your support by fire team opens up. Open them up. Give them some hell. Give them some hate and discontent. All right, start them, start opening up. All right. Bay attack team says, all right, it's time. We'll come up, throw some smoke. Pop some smoke, throw some rounds down range, make all kinds of noise, hate and discontent. That gets the enemy's positions thinking, all right, here comes, here comes their attack. They got their support by fire team. All right, give it covering fire. They want us to not shoot the guys. All right, at that time, that's when you breach team. All right, they have to throw smoke at the same time across the battlefield. You don't want them just to be out in the open, right? Breach team moves up. Could be wire if you have demo charges all right now you don't want to use demo necessarily on the breach charge because then they're going to know you're over there right boom there's a big goddamn explosion all right you want to try to get that breach team stealthily so if it's wire or whatnot you get up there cut that wire quickly all right now that gap doesn't have to be real big you don't need to be big enough to drive a damn five truck five ton through all right that gap in that defense needs to be Inside, all right, large enough to move your troops through there. All right, doesn't have to be huge, big enough for us to get our asses through. All right, with all our gear, Easy. all right. Now, once you have made a gap, it's time to exploit the gap. Exploiting the gap. <clears throat> Once the breach team is breached, they will signal the assault team, letting them know that a path is open. All right, now that assault team that's been waiting in the rear, re ready to go, <clears throat> excuse me, exploits the breach. 
Simply put, they moved to the breach location. Now remember, the support team should be suppressing the enemy. Right? They should be giving them hell, keeping them down. All right, now, now it's time to start and clear that objective. Now the assault team needs to use a high volume of fire to clear the first couple enemy positions that they move through. All right? We pointed a gap, there's holes on the left, holes on the right, they gotta kill them guys quickly. Quickly. <clears throat> Excuse me. The support team is either then signaled or the section leader orders the support team to shift its fire as to not fire into our assault team. Right? We want to make sure that our support by fire team, and we've planned this, knows. Now we can, they can have predetermined. A lot of times you can just shoot a flare up, throw some whistles out there. All right? something so that the support by fire team knows, hey, we need to shift our fire or lift, all right? We don't wanna have to worry about getting hit by our own. <clears throat> but remember, the support needs to shift the, to lift the reduce the bristle blue and blue, I said. Now the fan attack team needs to then, once the, the assault team goes, the uh, breach, uh, sorry, the fan attack needs to move through the breach and join that assault team. Once the assault team gets the supports, uh, support team's limit of engagement or is notified by the PL, that's when the support team will break contact and also move through that gap. They will also meet up and reinforce the assault team. And at this time, the whole unit should be behind the gap. Once the entire unit is linked up, with the PL, he can then assign specific targets to attack with his larger force. All right, so draw it on the board. I'm not just reading. All right, so the breach team has moved up. They've breached. Boom, boom, they come through, take out these first couple holes. All right, widening up our gap. All right, as the breach team comes up, calls for the assault team to move up. The breach team then comes your security, all right, on this flank. All right, assault team comes in, signals, lets the support team know, hey, we're in the gap. We're in behind enemy lines. You guys are giving them hate and discontent, but I don't want you to shoot me. Good to go. So, some sort of signaling. All right, like I said earlier, it could be pop and flare, it could be blowing whistles. There you go, blowing whistles, letting them know. All right, your support team then knows, you know, ship fire, ship fire, ship fire. All right, they're still gonna be firing because the enemy doesn't know yet. They're still thinking, shit, they're still shooting. They've been hitting our holes, they've been hitting our guys. They're still shooting, I, shit, I still can't put my head up. All right, that reassures that as we turn on the objective, we're not getting killed by our own guys. All right, now, as they start moving across the objective, there's no need for that faint attack anymore either, right? They were putting rounds down range also, right? Boom, 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 shooting the holes, making them think we were coming. We wanna make sure that they again, the faint attack knows, hey, They've done whistled, they've done signaled the support by fire team to shift. That's my cue to go ahead and pick up, come back to the recon team, because the recon team knows where the best place is, right? Don't want to just pick up and run straight to the dang wire or to that hole, because there could be mines and obstacles in their direct path. All right, Bait attack already had met up with the recon team. So they can come back through and up. Once they come back into, they meet up with the attacking force, all right, and join in force. <clears throat> Again, as they're coming over, coming over, there's gonna be a limited advance for the support team. Again, shift that fire, stop the fire, lift completely. They're attacking. The support by fire team then breaks contact again moves back, they were here earlier, meet up with that recon team, and the recon team and your support by fire 
then come in, meet up with your, your assault team, finish attack and do the objective. All right? Uh, support team's LOA, that's based on the current position of the assault team? That determined before so that we don't run into their fire. Right, but uh, uh, like that'll that'll be called once assault reaches a certain a position. Right? Yeah. And then uh, uh, normally long, you're gonna you're gonna you can just lift it completely so it's out of you know so we don't have to worry about it. This communication is still running in there. But it sounds like support team has three uh, three stages. Stage one, they're opening fire. Opening fire. Stage two, lift and shift. Yep. Stage three, then they then break move, contact, break contact and they come in. Yes. Come in. Okay. Yes. And then presumably we have a signal for those those three. Well, yes. Basically, that recon team becomes like a guide in reverse instead of leaving a flat line on it. It's like you said, the landmine field. So your recon team is the one that knows the area. So it's like reverse. He's the one that takes you up. So the LOA is basically where he takes you. Okay. I know it's a lot of jarbled up here on the board, but we're definitely going to do it here in a second. What's up, bud? When do I pull my security team in? Good question. The security team is here, making sure you're not going to get flanked. They can come in with the recon teams and come up too. To protect the flank. Brent, anything over there on this portion? Uh, no, no, we're good. Good on this? Yeah. All right. Drink water, guys. Drink water. I gotta drink some water too. Out here. Yes, sir. I just want to reconfirm. So, uh, when it comes to placing down soldiers, everybody goes over to the assault position. Then you place the feint attack. Then you place the support, and support initiates fire. Yes. They're all going to move out to the scene, and they're going to be a pre-designated time. And they're going to open up. Once they open up, the support by fire and the feint attack starts. And then they pop their smoke. When the breach team actually has, has to be good coordination. That's before the before the PL meets up with their team, the support team leaders, things of that nature, and they come up with you know time, radio. Hopefully, if you're up there quickly, everybody's in place. Everybody's in place. If you got good comms, all right. Here we go. Let's break it off. Boom. Starts on that side with the faint attack and your support by fire wherever they're at, and then it's, it's time to go. Roger. So that would mean that at the assault position, all the or all the Main attack and assault element meets over there, then they get led to the, by the recon team to those locations. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Big question. Two here. If we had good recon and we planned ahead of time, we should have our designated spot both mapped out on our map before we move out to move. Now, it could change. And if there's a change in the deviation to plan, we could make that right then. Roger. Just going to interject one thing. So, Hey, can we, can we launch this faint attack significantly before we open up with this support by fire position? Sure. sure. Why? No. What, what would be the benefit now? The, the enemy will move their forces to counter that attack. Okay, right. So if the enemy has some forces in the rear, right, that they are, hey, we get hit, we're going to sure. reinforce whatever side that's getting attacked. Okay, so if we launch that faint attack and then they reinforce that side and then, hey, we hit them with our main effort over here on the right side. Right? Can you see a benefit to that? Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. And Recon could figure out how fast their QR could come to any position. Right so that, that would be with the probing. Yeah. Okay. But that's, but that's before all this. Uh -huh. Now, before any of that, before any attack, we would move our Vanguard team to cover flanks, correct? Yes, we're going to keep our flanks out. They're going to have to coordinate when the support team comes in. That's when our security will funnel in also. Right. And then we brought our breach team. Once our, our security team come in, our security is going to take their spot here. The free team can go along with the assault force. All right. You got to make sure you got to cover your flanks so nobody comes in. From, you know, your flanks pull in, pull in, pull in. And we'll all just pull in in mass on the objective, past the objective, through the objective. All right. You mentioned covering the flanks. Who would be covering the flanks? Security. 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 <clears throat> Our security. All right, so and then now you've assaulted through the objective. All right, your breach team has moved in with your assault team. Your support by fire team has moved through. 
pulled in your recons from your assault position. Remember we said we're not gonna come back to that position, correct? Right. Coming through. Um, once we've moved through, we on our map up here on the board, our, uh, our objective's off to the left. All right, we've moved through, we've moved through, boom. Signal, everybody's good. Bring in your security team all over together. Now, once everyone has moved through the objective, the PO consolidates the patrol and prepares for a what? Counterattack. Counterattack, right? You gotta prepare for that counterattack. The major concern of the assaulting unit leader, once the enemy has been driven off the objective, is to retain, retain control of that objective. If the enemy allocated troops to defend that objective in the first place, it is reasonable to assume that they will send troops to try to take it back. All right? safe to say that it is not a question of whether or not the enemy will counterattack, but the question of whether it is when, right? All right, they took the time and effort to, to set up their position there. They wanted it for a reason, right? For whatever reason, they, they're not just going to give it up. We wouldn't give it up, right? If somebody came over to our house and pushed us off our yard, we're going to want our yard back, right? So you can, you can definitely, it's not a matter of if, it's when, all right? The enemy wants to attack as soon as possible so that you don't have time to reinforce your supply or if you're dealing with casualties or with POWs, all right? Now the PL needs to get his unit organized into a hasty defense, all right? The task now is to place sufficient firepower into positions to defend what just you just took control of. In positioning the fire teams in a hasty defense, there is not significant time to prepare standard fighting holes Use what is there. You can use the old enemy position, shell craters, natural depressions, and etc. All right. The main emphasis is to effectively defend that area from fire. Remember, they know where you are at at this point. They know where you're at. We had the element of surprise to start off, but now they know where you're at. Fortify as best as possible. They are likely going to use artillery, mortars, and machine gun fire to support their counterattack. During this, also time, you, your fire team uh, leaders and your patrol needs to go ahead and conduct some waste reports and advise the uh, PL. Anybody know what LACE stands for? Liquid, Liquid ammo, ammo casualty, casualty equipment. equipment. All right. All right. For those who haven't heard it before, they're getting together. We're reconsolidating, making sure we got ammo, right? We, done, we just large uh, violence of action. All right. Start redistributing ammo. I said earlier, it's not your ammo, right? team's ammo, right? Mm -hmm. The squad, the platoon's ammo. All right, you gotta get those, uh, the liquid, all right? Any casualties. Hey, we don't expend a lot of smoke for things. We gotta start redistributing those things, all right? But we also gotta be mindful of, hey, we just took this, whoo, with that ass. They're, they're gonna be coming back, all right? They're gonna be coming back. All right, the control leader reports progress of attack to higher command. Casavac and POW, POW delivery. All right, now, once you get in that hasty defense, probably a good idea to assign somebody to go out there and search that dead for intel, correct? Yes. All right, don't just want to kill them, leave them there, woo, no. Make sure you're uh, checking for those things, all right? Intel, intel, intel. And also, if you need spot assignments to replace fire team leaders, automatic rifle, uh, automatic rifleman with the cane cap. And we always say, hey, we're all going to attack, we're all going to end up there on at, together. But sometimes they don't happen, right? So you have to make sure that you fill in those gaps, all right? You lose a assault gun or something, you got to assign somebody new, all right? To be able to take this spot. And then with that firepower in your team, right? Then, lastly, if you've been tasked to move out of the, on new missions or defend or withdraw or begin the exploitation or pursuit, all right? The, the mission may say, hey, attack there, hold that ground, that's where we're staying, all right? Or it may be, hey, you took that ground, great, you whipped them, now let's move out, continue on, all right? Questions? Good to go? Good to go, good to go. All right, finally, there's an exportation phase at the end. This normally occurs after a successful assault and seizure of that objective, all right? We don't develop plans to fail, correct? All right. Mm -hmm. All right, there is times 
where we will have to deviate. But for this, we're gonna say, hey, we did, we did what we came to do. All right, it begins immediately after and in conjunction with the consolidation and reorganizing phase. It is a continuation of the attack aimed at destroying the enemy's ability to conduct an orderly withdrawal or organize the defense. Pursuit by fire or continuation of the attacks are methods used in the exploit or to exploit success. There's two types of exploitation. There's a pursuit by fire, and that's when the assault, when you assault through the objective is complete, the squad fires upon the withdrawing enemy forces until they are no longer invisible or beyond effective range. Hopefully we killed them all in their holes. Alright? So not a lot of people are just gonna sit there into the last man and sit in those holes, right? Probably gonna, they're probably going to move back. All right, they want to live to fight another day too. We just continue to fight. And then there's a continuation attack is to maintain pressure of the retreating enemy and destroy his combat power. When the rifle squad orders continue, oh, I'm sorry. When the rifle squad is ordered to continue the attack, the PO repeats the attack steps performed from previous attacks and firing move, movement. All right, but we did barely touch on that. That's another whole class that we do here but for deliberate attack these are the steps that we take here at one shepherd for deliberate attack